Resident versus migratory fish. Um, they are different. The health advisory that was issued, the fish advisory that was issued for Portland Harbor, very specifically said salmon and steelhead are a good source of protein. They are not included in the advisory. The message is don't stop eating them. Um, we are fortunate in Oregon to have salmon that have really low levels of contaminants. That's not necessarily true for some of the Washington salmon that's caught in the Puget Sound uh, because it's kind of like a big marine lake. But um, the, the salmon that's caught here is, is very low in contaminants. Uh, Pacific lamprey come through as well. They're, nad they're considered what's uh, nadromous or migratory. It's a very different story than the resident fish. After we issued that advisory, this, this uh, cartoon came out in uh, one of the uh, newspapers. And uh, you can see here, anglers warned against eating Willamette fish. And then with the little sign there, catch, release, lather, rinse, repeat. And while you know it's humorous, I was actually, as a toxicologist and thinking about exposure rates, I was actually offended and almost contacted this person because this isn't the message. The message isn't about the contaminants are going to come off the fish scales, get on your skin, and go in and cause a problem. The message was certain types of fish should be avoided. And so why is that? Well, um, recreational exposures are very different. And I, I promise, the, the, the question I tend to get asked most in the last boat tour I did in the Lamb and I got asked it, is, you know, what's going to happen if I swim in this? That's not the problem. Uh, recreational exposure, like swallowing or skin contact with, the, with the water in the Lamb, is not a problem. Uh, and then, for that matter, the beaches and sediment aren't expect, expected to be a much of a health concern for recreational users only, uh, you know, the, that are out there. Avoid the more heavy urbanized areas. There is the former Gasco site, which, which may pose a, a, a higher risk. But in general, the, those risks are dwarfed by uh, that biomagnification pathway into, into uh, resident fish. And this is an important message for folks. It's not recreational exposure that we're worried about.